In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy Fast API with PM2 and connect it to a Redis instance on AWS. In a previous tutorial, I showed you how to build a simple Fast API app using Redis as a cache. And let's just do a quick demo of that. So uh, I'm going to run Uvicorn main app. And then I will call 8000 fish um, red snapper. And you can see the ca there's a cache miss there, and then there's a cache hit. So on the second request, I'm actually pulling from uh, the cache. Now, how do we get this deployed to AWS? So first, uh, we're going to want to install uh, PM2. And I already have it installed, but I'm just showing you the command here. And then you're also going to want to make sure to have this pushed to either a private or a public GitHub repo. Next, in the AWS console, launch a compute instance running Ubuntu. So I'm going to launch instance, and then I will call this fish server Ubuntu, and I'll select an existing key pair that I have. Uh, and then I'll do this, and this. Okay, and then I'll launch instance. The next step is to create a res cluster. So I'll go to Amazon Elastic Cache and go to Redis cluster, create Redis cluster, and then I'll leave this and I'll just call this fish. And let's go down and I'm just going to choose an existing subnet group, but you might need to create a new one. Uh, and then click on next. And for the selected security groups. Um, I'll leave this blank for now. And then next. And create. Okay, so now I'll go to VPC and let's go to security groups. And I'm gonna create a new security group and I'll call this fish security group and um, let's see let's create an inbound rule so this will allow custom TCP traffic to port uh, 6379 and uh, we want to choose launch wizard 2 because that was the security group that um, the EC2 instance was assigned to and then everything else is fine. I'll create, so it looks like I need a description. So Redis cluster security group. And I'll click on create security group. Okay, so I created my fish security group. Now let's go back to last cache. Go back to my cluster and then let's go to network and security. Um, all right, so it looks like it's grayed out right now, but uh, let me see. Well, it's still creating, so let me um, come back in a few minutes. All right, so it looks like the cluster is available now, so I'll go back into the cluster, and then I will go to Network and Security, and then click on Modify. And for here, I will click on Manage, and I will select the official security group, and then uh, Modify. All right, so that's modifying, and I'll come back in a few minutes. All right, so it looks like it is available now, and let's go back to our terminal. And uh, from here, we want to run PM2 ecosystem and that should generate a ecosystem file like this so I'm gonna go ahead and fill everything in uh, I already have this done 
So there we go. I have filled in the configuration file with the correct values. Uh, so let me go ahead and check this in. And push this to GitHub. The next step is to provision the server. So I already have the uh, PEM file downloaded uh, into my folder here. Uh, and this is git ignored, by the way. And if you haven't already run this, you'll have to run chmod 400 on the key. And then after that, I can use uh, the key to ssh in. And let's see, the IP address. And the IP address can be found here. Um, you could also use uh, this, uh, you know, public DNS, but uh, I just used IP. So uh, let's go back to here and paste the IP address. And then I'll say yes. And now I am in the uh, server. So first I'm going to install node PM2. Um, so I'm just going to copy and paste these commands in here. Then I'm going to install nginx. So I'm going to go ahead and paste these commands. Next, I will install Python 3. Then I can just hit escape there. And then I'm going to install Redis. And hit escape. All right, so now I'm gonna to wanna to test the Redis connection. So I'm gonna go back to uh, last cache and go back to my cluster. Uh, I'm gonna grab this endpoint here and I'll do Redis CLI. Oh, take the port here. Oh, I forgot, I think I need a flag for the host. Okay, there we go. So, yes, we are able to uh, connect to our Redis cluster from this EC2 instance. All right, next let's set up the environment variable. So I'm gonna go to um, the profile and uh, I'm gonna do an export Redis host equals the URL this and uh, get rid of the port. Okay. All right, now let's go and check our um, instance or IP address and see 
if we can see the Nginx welcome screen. Okay, so that works. All right, now let's um, edit the Nginx configuration file. So let's just say app.conf, and then let me paste in some of this configuration here. Replace this with the IP address. So um, go back here, copy that. And with fast API, it's uh, 8,000. Okay, and then I'll do a pseudo service nginx restart. For the next step, uh, we have a couple of options. We can use SSH agent forwarding or a deploy key to deploy the app. Uh, so we're going to go with the first option, which is SSH agent forwarding. So I'm going to exit out of our server, and then I'll do a uh, vim uh, dot ssh config. Oh, actually. Um, So now uh, I'm going to delete that and paste in the IP address and save and I'll run ssh add and, uh, and let me ssh back into the server. And from here, let's verify that our connection is working. Get and github.com. Yes. All right, so it uh, looks like our SSH agent forwarding is working. Now for this next step, let's exit back to our local machine and run PM2 deploy production setup. So now it just pulled all of our code onto our server. And then let's do a PM2 deploy production. So it looks like it was a success. So let's go and SSH into our server and then do a PM2 LS. You can see that it's online. Let's do a log and that looks okay as well. Um, so let's call, uh, let's see, this IP here. Okay, so we, we're seeing hello world, and then let's do a fish slash red snapper. All right, so that works. And let's call it again. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go into, let's SSH back in here, and then do a PM2 log. And uh, you can see that it's saying cache miss, cache miss. Um, let me try curling. Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay, so we can see that there's a cache hit, which means uh, it's pulling from uh, the Redis cache. And that concludes this video on how to deploy FastAPI with PM2 and connect it to a Redis instance on AWS. For more resources on full stack development, check out my website at fullstackbook.com. Thanks for watching.